I want to tell you 11 things, 11, 11 things that you should be doing if you are new to selling on print on demand or if you are already selling on print on demand. These 11 things are very important things to know. I did one of these types of videos a while ago. It got a really, really good response. So I did more research into more things that you need to know and I compiled a list and we are gonna get straight into that list. I like to do a no faff kind of video. However, before we go into that list, there's just one bit of faff and that is if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Okay, just, just, just click that subscribe button. I make videos about Amazon FBA, print on demand, you know, YouTube, making money online, that kind of thing. And if you have already subscribed in the last week or so, let me know in the comments and just tell me you're new here and I would love to welcome you to the channel because I love it when people subscribe and that they tell me when they subscribe because it allows me to actually talk to you. And I like having this dialogue going. So. Let's start with number one. The first thing to know is that there is no upfront money. So if you're thinking, I wanna go into print on demand, but I don't have any money, do I need money, 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 money? Nope, there is no upfront money to get into print on demand. You don't have to pay for the products. You don't have to pay for the platforms. You don't have to pay for marketing. You don't have to pay, what else I've written down here? You don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to pay for the accounts, okay? You can set up a Teespring account or a Redbubble account or a Merch by Amazon account. You can launch the products. You can sell the products organically or through, you know, free Instagram advertising, like not advertising, free, free Instagram, you know, posts or stories, whatever. So you can do all free traffic methods. You can list the shirt and you only pay off the profit that you get. So for example, for example, if you sell a shirt for $10 or 10 pounds, the platform charges $8 for the base. So you sell a t-shirt for 10, they charge eight. When you get the sale, they'll immediately take that eight and give you the two. So it hasn't cost you anything. You've just been given $2. Does that make sense? Simple, no money to get started. Number two, it takes a long time time. This is not a get rich quick scheme, okay? There is no magic button that you click. Press the goddamn button! Press the goddamn button! You heard what she said. And you know, money, money, money comes out the sky. That doesn't exist. Please don't let anyone tell you this is a quick make money scheme. It's not. This can take a long time. And I say this in terms of if you're doing free marketing, if you post a couple of things on Redbubble, you know, you share it with your family and your friends and you try and work your way up the rank, it will take some time to get sales if you get sales. There's no guarantees for this, okay? So I don't want you to go into this business thinking I'm going to be a billionaire tomorrow because you're not. It doesn't work like that, okay? Things take time. Thing number three is do your due diligence when it comes to creating a design. If you create a, I don't know, a, a dog dentist t-shirt design, how does my brain work? sometimes a dog dentist shirt. Okay, whatever. If you want to design a dog t-shirt for dentists, right, make sure that that doesn't already exist. Now, if you make this design up from scratch, it's very unlikely for it to exist. What you can do is you can search the platform you are selling on. So if you decide to search on Redbubble, then search Redbubble for dog dentist t-shirt and see if you can see it. Search on Google, see if you can see it. If you can't see it, you're probably okay, especially if you made it yourself. It's very unlikely that anyone has the exact same brain as you. I don't think anyone else in the world would have thought of dog dentist t-shirt if they were on the spot. So I don't know how this guy works, but it's weird. Right, thing number four. Ah, there are so many platforms to use. Which platform should be you should you be using? You've got Teespring, Redbubble, Zazzle, Spreadshirt, Shopify, Amazon. What what do you use? Okay, so the platform I would say to start with is Redbubble and Amazon Merch. So apply for Merch by Amazon and do Redbubble. The reason I say these two platforms is because they offer amazing uh, organic sales. I would say also go for Teespring, but it's a bit harder because you have to actually advertise Teespring and you don't really get organic sales properly with Teespring. I don't care what they say about their boosted network. It is just rubbish. So I would say just focus on Redbubble to start with and apply for merch by Amazon so that you could eventually sell merch by Amazon. And when you get a big enough audience, let's say you get thousands and thousands of people liking your Instagram page and you know following you and, and, and buying your shirts, then go and create a Shopify store or a Teespring store and actually sell on those platforms as well because you'll have people coming and buying. Thing number 
five. Shipping is based on where the buyer lives. Okay, now this seems very basic, but if you're new to print on demand, you might not be thinking this, but if you are trying to calculate the costs involved for your buyer and you go to the checkout page so you can kind of see how much they're gonna end up having to pay, right? The amount that you see for shipping is going to be based on where you live. If you have someone buy your shirt from Zimbabwe or something, they might be charged quite a different shipping number. So it's important to understand that. And like, if you, again, if you're trying to, uh, what's the word? If you're trying to um, calculate the costs involved for your customers, it might be hard to get the exact right cost when it comes to shipping. Number six, this is a huge one. And this is to niche down and then niche down again. You want to be really, really, really niche. And when I when I say niche, the mic's working, right? Yeah, the mic's working. When I say niche, I mean, you don't wanna just target nurses and you don't just wanna target cat lovers, right? It's too broad, these are very broad, but you wanna niche down. You can target nurses who love cats, okay? You've got a couple of levels here. You've got level one, which is like people who like cats. This is like the untouchables. It's very hard to get involved in that unless you've got a humongous audience, right? Level two is, you know, nurses who like cats. You've got two levels of targeting there. And then level three is like nurses who like cats who live in Texas, right? You, you see where I'm going with this, right? You really want to niche down if you want to get sales. Thing number seven don't mix up your audiences when it comes to creating social pages. So if you're selling, you know, gun t-shirts or cat nurse t-shirts, whatever they may be, you have to create individual Facebook pages or individual Instagram accounts for each niche, okay? Because you don't want to start selling a cat t-shirt on an Instagram page that also sells Second Amendment gun t-shirts because that will be a cross of a weird, weird audience and you it just won't be good for you so keep things separate number eight is be careful when you're using you know copyright free images so using the website like unsplash you kind of have to make sure you change the design just slightly before you sell it if you want to use google you can search uh, for something on google and you can write copy free images only but even then make sure you look at this fine print of all these websites and actually find out if you can put those designs on a t-shirt and sell them some of them might say you have to modify the t-shirt in some way or another so for example if i wanted to take a t-shirt from unsplash i would have to modify it drastically maybe put two together change the opacity do a super zoom in somewhere maybe change the colors in photoshop or something i would have to make the, the image kind of like not the original person's image um, and that's the only th way to resell that on a t-shirt okay i can put that image on my site absolutely fine no problem but to resell it and put it on a printed t-shirt or a printed hat or face mask you have got to you know make it really modify it number 10 a lot of you are probably thinking when will i get sales when will i be in raining money land when will i just make money from this and there is no answer for this and if anyone says to you, you will make money on this date, this time, after this long, they are lying to you. There is no formula, there is no nothing to say when you will start making money from this. It could be days, it could be hours, it could be weeks, it could be years. There is no telling how long this can take, which is why originally I said this is not a get rich quick scheme. Okay, so please don't let someone tell you you're gonna be making money from this next week. All I will say is upload a lot of designs on a lot of platforms and it increases your chances to be seen by the masses and actually get sales. Number 11, <laughs> how many designs do you need to be rich? Well, I'm not gonna contradict myself here, okay? In number 10, I said don't listen to anyone who, who tells you how much money you're going to make or can make. So with number 11, how many designs do you need to increase your chances to get sales, that is how I will say it because I'm not gonna say how many designs do you need to get sales because you can have 100,000 designs and still get zero sales, okay? So how many designs should you be looking at uploading and creating to you know increase your chances of getting sales? Well, think of it like this, okay? And this is the logical way to think about it. If you have one design on one platform, you have one chance of getting sales, of people seeing you. If you have one design on two platforms, right, you have two potential chances of people seeing you. If you have two designs on two platforms, 
you have, well, I would say four chances, okay? Because you've got two on one, two on another, right? So think of it like that, right? If, if, if you want to increase your chances, every design you do is another chance and every platform you do increases that chance even more so. So if you have 10 designs on one platform, you have 10 chances. If you have 10 designs on 10 platforms, you have 100 chances, okay? So it's really dwells the limit here, okay? So I would say go for something like 50 designs on you know five platforms. That's a solid 250 chances of getting sales. Again, I'm not guaranteeing you're gonna get sales, you may get no sales, but you're increasing your chances of actually getting sales. That is what I would say to you. Those are the 11 things I feel like brand new or even seasoned or just getting into it, put on demand sellers should know. This is a lot of information to be going with. Sorry for the information overload. I probably could have made a video on specific things here. So if you wanna actually see any of these numbers, one to 11, if you wanna see a specific video where I go into it a bit more and actually talk about it a bit more, let me know in the comments down below which number you would like to see in a bit more detail. But other than that, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As you know, I bring up videos on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and I know you'll absolutely love them. So if you haven't already given this video a thumbs up, then I don't know what you're waiting for. And if you haven't subscribed, then this is interesting. I think you should hit that subscribe button. But anyway, thanks for watching. Again, if you like this video, you'll like this video up here, which is seven ways that you can get free traffic, okay? Free organic traffic, no paid ads, nothing. Go and click this video to check out the seven ways to get free traffic for your print-on-demand store.